Good evening, everybody. Hello, everybody. Just uh, working out uh, a little kink here. Uh, if the audio is good, let me know. There we go. All right. Welcome to uh, the Two Chord Song Fest tonight. And uh, glad to be with you guys. Uh, Streaming from Sheboygan, Wisconsin uh, for the Mead Library Two Chord Jamboree. Woohoo! Yeah! So, when it comes to two chord songs, there's usually a hallelujah in the air. And uh, uh, it's a lot of fun to just uh, kick back and do some jamming and not have to think too much about um, what the chord changes are going to be. There are there are many reasons why I like um, to play two chord songs. One, because in, from an improvisational uh, standpoint, you know, it's at its most basic factor. Um, they're, they're fun songs to jam to when you get a couple of people who are improvisers in the mix. And, um, you know, you can just really concentrate on making things good without having to pay too much attention to the, the chord changes. Beginners love these. And so... I like to include two chord songs in almost every jam that I lead around uh, the country and at ukulele festivals. So there's a wide variety of tunes in the packet tonight, and uh, and they cover everything from you know sea shanties to rock and roll to folk songs to uh, parodies, uh, you know all kinds of different stuff uh, we're gonna dig into here tonight. And uh, I think there's about a dozen songs that were posted on the drive. I intend to play about 10 of them tonight, and one or two of them will be, you know, for your enjoyment after the, the session tonight. Okay? So uh, we thank you once again for joining us, and uh, good to have you with us here. We're going to get started. Uh, I think the first song we're going to do tonight is going to be uh, Tulsa Time, and this is a, a song that was made famous by Eric Clapton, and... Uh, um, Don Gibson as well, okay? So if everybody pulls up that sheet, it's going to be F and C seventh. And uh, we'll give that one a whirl here. All right, so here we go. F and C seventh. Now, uh, as I've often taught, if you can add a boogie note to either of these chords, it, it just really helps the song a lot. Um, that's where you make an F chord and you drop one finger down onto the second fret of the C string adding a D notes so that gives you this and, and the, the fingers dropping down on the two and the four okay so you got one and two and three and four one and two and three and four one and two and three and four okay all right and then the C seventh you can just play like that um, or you can add a make a C chord but add the boogie note too by adding the second fret of the G string. Okay, and that's what you'd be playing while others are doing the C7. Okay? So here's a song from the country and rock traditions. All right? Tulsa time. Here we go, everybody. Let's do it. And uh, have a good time. Okay, here we go. I left Oklahoma driving in a Pontiac. Just about to lose my mind Go to Arizona, maybe On to California All the people live so fine My mother says I'm crazy Baby, call me lazy Gonna show them all this time No, I ain't no fooling I don't need no schooling But born to just walk the line Here we go now, sing it Living on toss of time Living on Tulsa time Set my watch back to it Know that I've been through it Living on Tulsa time Alright, come on now so There I was 
was in Hollywood thinking I was doing good, talking on the telephone line. They don't want me in the movie, nobody sing my song, my baby says I'm doing fine. Then I started winking, man, I started thinking, I really had a flash this time. I had no business leaving, nobody would be grieving, I was on toast of time. Alright everybody now, I want to hear you singing it with me, alright? Okay? You are some beautiful people, and I'm so glad to be spending this time with you guys tonight, alright? Come on, let's do it. Living on toast of time, living on toast of time. Know that I've been through it, gotta send my one man to it. Living on toast of time. All right. There I was in Hollywood, wishing I was doing good, talking on the telephone line. They didn't need me in the movies and nobody sang my song I felt I was doing fine Then I started winking, man I started thinking I really had a flash this time Had no business leaving and nobody would be grieving I was on toast of time Living on toast of time Living on toast of time Know that I've been through it, gotta send my one back to it. Living on toes of time. Now keep that chord progression going now. Here we go. Oh yeah! Rock it up now. with me one more time people come on now live it on toes of time live it on toes of time know that I've been through it gotta send my one bit to it live it on toes of time yeah that was really nice you guys I could hear you guys rocking out in your living rooms and your dining rooms and your bedrooms and your rec rooms all across North America. That was beautiful. So um, some of the other little asides there, if you want to know, is that, um, so yeah, you know, you can stay up in first position, F and C7, add the boogie notes, okay? Um, but, you know, there are other versions of those chords that make it fun to play when a song is just two chords. So, um, you know, eventually I'm going to be doing a class on movable chord forms coming up here in the next month. And, uh, and that would be applicable to that. But, you know, like there's an F chord right there on the third fret. And there's an F chord right there, barring on the fifth fret, the D shape. And then where I ended up down here. Um, on the 8th fret, that's a B-flat shape, and that's an F chord too. So, you know, you can play these chords all over the neck, and it just kind of makes it more fun to move around, you know, outside of first position. As far as C or C7, anytime you see a C7 chord in a song, you could play C7 or C, and either one would be fine, okay? But, you know, there's C7 there. There's C7 barring on the 3rd fret right there. There's a, a, a more schnazzier Lyle Ritzy type of C7 up there on the 5th and 7th frets, okay? Uh, there's a C chord right there as a G shape on the 7th fret. So this is kind of cool. You know, you can start to grab some of those other chord forms and it just makes playing a lot more fun, okay? That was a little aside to that song, all right? So now um, we are going to play, let's see here. Well, let's get a little more practice with that rhythm. And uh, let's do Ico Ico all day. Okay? So uh, Tulsa time we got. And now we're going to do Ico Ico all day. And, uh, and this same rhythm that we use on Tulsa time could work for this, for Ico Ico all day. So what can we tell you about Ico Ico all day? Well, this was first recorded by a fellow named Sugar Boy Crawford in the, in the 1950s, I believe. 
a little bit later on, uh, I think it was 64, 65, the Dixie Cups. Does anybody remember that name? The Dixie Cups uh, recorded this and had a big hit with it. I go, I go all day. Now, for my own generation, I remember hearing Grateful Dead play this for like 20 minutes straight as one of their encore songs. So it's just a two chord song. If you're going to play it for 20 minutes, you better keep it interesting. Okay. Now, down in New Orleans, Nolens, the Crescent City, the Big Easy, they, you know, we're just going to kind of rock it like we did Tulsa Time. But down there, they've got that funky second line rhythm. So when you hear this song as a Mardi Gras dance or a Mardi Gras song, you're going to get this. Okay, you're going to get really funky. Just a really funky, cool sound. That super syncopated, right? And a lot of times when I play this, I will, um, I'll ask people to clap. I'll go, all right, let's start it out with the original rhythm. And I'll go, and people go, and they'll go, wherever you hear that. So, you know, watch my schnoz. Yeah, so wherever my head was going like that, that's where they were clapping, right? And that's one way to draw an audience participation on this song. Um, I'm not sure I know exactly what this is about. It's kind of real, it's real Louisiana folklore in this song. Hey na, hey na, Iko Iko all day, Giacomo fina anane, Giacomo fina ne. Okay? It's just, a, it's a great song, never grows old. So well, let's give it a try now and let's do the same type of rhythm that we had on Tulsa time, just to give you a little more practice with adding the boogie notes. So that's F chord, drop one, your ring finger down onto the second fret of the C string, that's a D note, wherever you see an F chord. Wherever you see a C seventh chord, you, you can play C seventh right here, or you can play a C chord with a boogie note on the second fret of the G string. Okay, here we go. My grandma and a yo grandma sitting right on the bow. My grandma said to your grandma, set that wig on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now, I go, I go on day. Jacamuffy na na day. Jacamuffy na day. I like to just do that chorus one time rather than twice. My little boy and your little boy sitting right on the bow. My little boy, shitty, your little boy, set that thing on fire. You're talking about it. Hey now, hey now, I go, I go, I day. Jacamuffy, nah, ah, nah, nay. Jacamuffy, nah, nay. You're doing it. Two chords, okay? There isn't a single soul who can't pick up the ukulele, even if they've never played before, and finger an F chord and a C7. I'm telling you, I did this live on uh, the morning blend on Fox News one morning. They said, Little Red, we're going to give you three minutes to teach us the ukulele. And, and so I taught them an F and a C7, and I got them doing what you're doing right now. This is the fountain of youth right here. You're holding it in your hand. Or as I like to say, the fountain of uke. All right, come on, let's do it now. My spy dog and a yo spy dog sitting right on the bow. My spy dog said a yo spy dog set that thing on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now, I go, I go, I day. Jacobin, Check out my girl all dressed in red. I ain't go, I ain't go all day. I bet you five dollars she kiss you dead. I ain't go, I ain't go all day. Oh, well, I hey now, hey now. 
All right. tremolo again how are you doing on your tremolo because this Thursday's class is a whole hour of the various ways to do tremolo effectively so we'll answer that question as to how you're doing on your tremolo can it be improved what are the different ways to do it if you join me on on Thursday night and uh, that should be a great class. A lot of ways of exploring how to do the tremolo. All right. Well, uh, we've got a really nice group of people tonight. I don't think 80, 90 people joining us from all over North America, Sarasota, Tallahassee. Oh, what have we got there? Um, Green Bay, Whidbey Island, welcome back again. Illinois, Appleton, Wisconsin, coming from all over the place. Thanks for letting us know where you're tuning in from. That's awesome. All right. We are having a two-chord jamboree. Now, uh, what is, let me just put on my shades here because I want to tell you that um, Ralph Waldo Emerson, the, the great poet and writer, um, he, he said, Our chief want in life is someone who will make us do what we can. Our chief want in life is someone who will make us do what we can. If I was to rewrite that, I would write it as our chief want in life is someone who can help us to do what we are capable of. And so that is, uh, that's our desire as, as teachers, and as song leaders, and as jam leaders. And uh, all the folks in America who make song leading at youth clubs go round and round week after week and month after month. I take off my hat to you. How do you like my hat hair tonight? Looking pretty good, hey? Yeah, because you are the folks that keep it all going. So God bless you. All right, our next song in our three-chord jamboree tonight, uh, we are going to do a song called Louis Sands and Jim McGee. Louis Sands and Jim McGee. And uh, um, this is a two-chord song. We're staying in F now, okay? So let's see what we got here. Um all right, so I'm going to need my glasses for this one. Put that on. Thank you. All right. So what can I tell you about this one? This is kind of cool. I want to send this one out. Um, I want to send this one out to a really great songwriter and troubadour from Michigan. His name is Neil Woodward. And uh, Neil Woodward is uh, a Michigan's... Um, official troubadour i mean he's he's the guy sings all the songs of the great lakes and the north woods and and every state ought to have a, a neil woodward someone who keeps their history alive in song and story and sings for the kids in the schools and plays at the nursing homes and goes around and uh keeps the culture uh alive and so uh, this next tune uh pull it out of your packet if you printed these out tonight uh louis sands and jim mcgee so uh, I first heard uh, Neil sing this, and um, it was really the first recorded version of it, but I learned it out of a book of songs uh, about lumberjacks uh, of, the, uh, of Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, the North Woods. And this is from an old song book that uh, um, uh, is the, the exact name of which escapes me. But uh, um, it's got things like a lumbering we will go, you know. And uh, anyways... Uh, so this is, uh, there, there's a melody in this that you all will recognize. So, so tell me what it is, okay? Let me sing a little bit of it. Somebody type it into the thread and tell me if you can recognize this melody. Oh, 
feeds us beans? Who feeds us tea? Louis Sands and Jim McGee. Who thinks that meat's a luxury? Louis Sands and Jim McGee. We make the big trees falk or splash. They hit the ground with an awful crash. Who sells the logs and takes the cash? Louis Sands and Jim McGee. Well, what is it? Come on, you, you recognize that melody. What is it? Oh, you got it. That's right. It's a Christmas song. Yep. Yeah, you got it. So F and C seventh, the whole song, it's a two chord song. And uh, um, what you need to know about this one that's different from the others is that it's got a six eight feel to it. So it, um, what I'm doing is I'm just doing down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Up down 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 and you could count it as one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a okay uh if you know how to play the triple strum which i'm going to be teaching in an upcoming class then you get that kind of ba da da 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 okay all right, so let's give it a whirl. Louis Sands and Jim McGee. Um, impress your friends and influence enemies by pulling out some of the cool, old, lost and forgotten American songs that tell the story of uh, how this country was, was built. And uh, the Lumberjacks are a part of that. Okay, so here we go. Who feeds us beans? Who feeds us tea? Louis Sands and Jim McGee Who thinks that meat's a luxury? Louis Sands and Jim McGee We make the big trees fall or splash They hit the ground with an awful crash Who sells the logs and takes the cash? Louis Sands and Jim McGee Feeds us beans three times a day, Louis Sands and Jim McGee, and gives so little pay, Louis Sands and Jim McGee. Who feeds us beans three times a day, and gives us so little pay, who feeds us beans again I say, Louis Sands and Jim McGee. Well, there they all slept in their little shanty, their little cabin at the end of a hard day's work. And uh, you'd work months straight while the getting was good. And, uh, and uh, then you'd take your money on back home to the farm if you, if you were smart enough to have not have blown it in town, you know. But I would not want to be sleeping in a, in a shanty cabin with uh, a whole bunch of other sweaty fellas, wet you know, you know, wet dungarees hanging off the, the side of the bed and, uh, you know, God knows what else. When they're feeding you beans three times a day, I mean, come on, you don't want that kind of a situation. Just be grateful for the, the job you chose, okay? But it, they say it was good work if you could get it and it paid well. It was dangerous, but... What else could you do late at night to entertain yourself? Somebody had a violin or a concertina or a guitar or some kind of a uh, instrument. You could sing some song just to while away the night. All right, let's do one more verse now. Who gives us pay for just one drunk? Louis Sands and Jim McGee. We hit Saginaw Kersplunk. Louis Sands and Jim McGee. We drink a whiskey, drink a ale. We hit the town just like a gale. Who comes to get us out of jail? Louis Sands and Jim McGee. I guess they aren't so bad after all, the bosses. Louis 
Sands and Jim McGee from Songs of the Great Lumberjack Story. All right. All right. Well, let's see here. Now we're going to change it up, do something totally different. What all these songs have in common tonight is that they are all two chords. Okay. Um, perhaps you're learning a little something about the different strums and the different rhythms that go with them. Um, like the 6-8 strum and later in another class, the triple strum. And another class, the tremolo. The little things we can add to our our playing that uh, you know that makes it a little sound a little bit nicer. Okay, um, so here's one for you. Um, I have a little dreidel. Now it's a long ways off from the holidays, you know, Christmas and Hanukkah time. Um, but uh, here's one to put in your back pocket. That's a two chord song, and it's called "I Have a Little Dreidel." Now, a lot of times in ukulele, we don't play all that much in the key of D. Spend a lot of time in F and C and G and things like that. But here's one in the key of D for you. And it's D and A seventh chord. So, you know, some of you might want to do that three finger D right there and the A seventh right there. Others might want to bar across the second fret and drop one finger down onto the fifth fret. That's a D chord right there. Okay. If you make a B flat and you move it up to the seventh fret, there you have, uh, or actually the fifth fret, I'm corrected there. Um, there you have a D chord right there, okay? And uh, your G seventh on the third fret, if you move it up to the fifth, that's an A seventh. So you could play D shape right there and A seventh, okay? Or there's that D shape right there and A seventh. All right, lots of ways to play. We could go way up the next C, C sharp D, or there's another D chord right there. All right, so here we go. I have a little dreidel made it out of clay. When it's dry and ready, my dreidel I will play. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. When it's dry and ready, my dreidel I will play. I have a little dreidel, I made it out of bush. And when I tried to spin it, it splashed right on my... What? Who said tush? Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of bush. When I tried to spin it, it splashed right on my... Said it. Have a little dreidel, I made it out of air. When I tried to spin it, wasn't really there. Dreidel, 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 made it out of air. When I tried to spin it, it wasn't really there. Now I'm just doing a common down up strum. There's nothing particular or fancy about this. It's just a basic down up. All right, here we go. I have a little dreidel. It is a color red. When I tried to spin it, it tucked me into bed. Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. It is a color red. When I tried to spin it, it tucked me into bed. Hello, Virginia Beach. So glad you're with us tonight. All right. Yeah. Now there's some place I'd like to be. Bermuda. Wisconsin's still mighty chilly. Uh, still too cold to put our seeds that have been sprouting down in the basement under the grow lights in the ground. But it's coming up fast. And we're going to get our vitamin D one way or another. And uh, we all need that if we're going to stay strong, right? Hello, Texas, Tokyo, and the Oregon coast. I hope you're having fun strumming two chord songs with me tonight. All right, let's do that one about mush again. Here we go. I have a little dreidel. I made it out of mush. When I tried to spin it, it splashed right on my tush. Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made it out of mush. And when I tried to spin it, it splashed right on my tush. Now here's a question for all of you. Now you see that I have a strap on tonight. 
okay? My ukulele is being supported by a strap that's tied on. And I'm sitting down. So one thing that I want to put out there to some of you is, one, have you ever played your ukulele without a strap? Because it takes a lot of forearm, you know, holding it into your body. And you got to practice that. Um, if you are ever going to do ukulele tricks like the shake and the flip, and you don't want to have that strap on there, I hope you're practicing without the strap, okay? Um, and likewise, you can rest it on your lap without that strap as well. But it does take some practicing to play that ukulele without the strap in terms of balancing your forearm and pressing it to your body. So if you ever intend to perform and you're in a uke club, and you get invited to do a holiday program at the local nursing home. And your U club director says, we're all standing up and you haven't been practicing that way. It's not going to feel very comfortable, whether you have a strap or not. So um, just keep that in mind. It's important to practice standing up as well as sitting down. It's important to practice with the strap as well as without the strap. Uh, just as a little um, educational aside. Okay. All right. So let's go on now in our... Uh, and our list of songs here tonight. And now we're going to do a one from the 1920s string band tradition, the Georgia Yellow Hammers. And we're going to do Ain't No Bugs on Me. Might be bugs on some of you mugs, but there ain't no bugs in me. Ain't no bugs on me. <laughs> so what else can I tell you? Um, you know, there's a lot of great ukulele history out there. If you tune into my my uh, Tin Pin Alley show on Wednesday night this week, 7 o'clock from my Facebook page, Mark Robinson or Little Rev, you'll see and hear a lot of this uh, turn of the century history come alive in some of the ephemera and artifacts I'll share, as well as um, all the songs of the American Songbook or songs from the American Songbook. The reason why I'm telling you all this tonight is because there's such a cool history tied to so many of these old songs. Here's the deal with Ain't No Bugs On Me, okay? In our ukulele history, our shared ukulele history, there once was a guy named Wendell Hall, and Wendell Hall uh, was called the red-headed uke player. They even made ukuleles um, with his name on them. And, uh, and he had a great big hit in the 1920s called It Ain't Gonna Rain No More. Sold just boatloads of copies. Matter of fact, when I was hunting 78s, we used to find a lot of these um, out and about because they were so plentiful back in the day. Now look it up. Ain't Gonna Rain No More, Wendell Hall. Look it up and listen to it on YouTube. It was a silly novelty song along the lines of Polly Wally Doodle All Day, right? Just nonsense type stuff. And so um, there were a lot of spinoffs to this, this simple two-chord song, Ain't Gonna Rain No More. And uh, Ain't No Bugs On Me was one of the many spinoffs on this tune. And so um, here's what we're going to do with this one. We're going to do the boom chuck strum. Now, some of you know how to do this, and some of you do not. Um, so, let's uh, let's go over this, okay? All right. So here's how you do it. All right. You are going to make a C chord and a G seventh chord, and we're looking at "Ain't No Bugs on Me." A C chord and a G seventh chord, and we're looking at "Ain't No Bugs on Me." So that's how we're starting with now. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rest my thumb on it vaudeville style, right? I'm not going to go like this. I'm going to go like this, where I'm resting my, my thumb on the finger to support it. Gives the strum more punch and oomph. Those of you who have been strumming like this all the time might want to occasionally just drop that finger down. Let, let that go down like that, okay? Um, and then just go like this, okay? Now the boom chuck strum happens this way. You are going to strike the G string all by itself. And then you're going to brush down on the rest of the chord. Boom, chuck, 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 boom, chuck. Try it at home. Give it a try. How's that feel? Give it a try. Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. All right. Now, uh... Remember with the boom chuck, you can do folk, bluegrass, old time string band, novelty stuff, um, rockabilly, western swing, um, you know, 
all the country western stuff, all the Hank Williams stuff, um, all that is good with the boom chuck. So, you know, like for example, I hear the train a coming, rolling around the bend. I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Right? Boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck. And when you get good at boom chuck, you can go on to boom chucka. Instead of going down, down. Remember, the hardest part is taking the tip of the finger, clipping the G string, no matter what it's fretted to. Okay? So if I'm making a C chord, then it's going to be open. But that's the five tone in the C chord. One, three, five, make up this, you know, make up that tonality. Okay? C E and G, right? Okay? So boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. Okay? We won't get fancy with the boom chucka and come back up. But that's out there. And if you like country, bluegrass, folk, this land is your land, whatever, it's a good strum to know and know it well. Okay? Instead of doing everything like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Here we go, my friends. You ready? Okay, ain't no bugs on me. When we finish this song, I'll tell you a little story. Okay, here we go. Ain't no bugs on me. Ain't no bugs on me. Might be bugs on some of you bugs. Ain't no bugs on me. Mosquito, he flies high. Mosquito, he flies low. Mosquito, if he lands on me, ain't gonna fly no more. Well, ain't no bugs on me. Ain't no bugs on me. Might be bugs on some of you bugs. Ain't no bugs on me. June bug come in the month of June. Landing bugs in May. Bed bug come any old time. Sure ain't he Stay. Hey, ain't no bugs on me. Ain't no bugs on me. Might be bugs on some of you bugs. Ain't no bugs on me. All right now. Little fleas have smaller fleas on their backs to bite them. Smaller fleas have smaller fleas, so and infinite. Hey, ain't no bugs on me. You sing it. Ain't no bugs on. My feet Ain't no bugs on me You didn't think I was going to do all the singing Come on now Now for this last verse I got to pause for a second Okay, hang on a second Everybody just imagine the pause button was hit And everything just frozen Because I got to reach over and grab my little ukulele For the last verse Okay All right, now, I showed you the ukulele shake. And with Grandfather's Clock, we did the pendulum stroke. Remember when we went tick-tock, tick-tock? All right, and the ukulele flip. Okay, so these are things that I've already taught. So when you get to the last verse, right? Walking through a great big field, strumming oh so gaily. Along come a great big wind Blew away my ukulele Wait, no bugs on me Ain't no bugs on me Might be bugs on some of you bugs Ain't no bugs on me All right, now you try that ukulele flip with me, okay? Y'all remember? Reach around the front Let it rest gently in the holding hand Give it a little bit of a tug forward And boom, it comes right back around to you, okay? And so what you do is, you strum, walking through a great big field, strumming oh so gaily, and then you strike down, long come a great big wind, and you flip it, and then you strum on, blew away my ukulele. You ready to try that? Okay, here we go. Walking through a great big field, strumming oh so gaily, long come a great big wind. Flew away my ukulele. Hey, ain't no bugs on me. Ain't no bugs on me. Might be bugs on some of you bugs. Ain't no bugs on me.
You should have seen that ukulele shake coming. You knew that was coming. Come on, you guys, remember? Ukulele shake. Anything that ends in the key of C, this is also something I've taught before, right? Strum the strings open. And give it that shake, okay? All right, that sounds great. So let's go on now. We're gonna go from uh, um, an old tw 20 string band piece to uh, Big Chief Buffalo Nickel. Or no, let's do something in minor. Let's do um, Drunken Sailor. Let's do Drunken Sailor. E minor and D. Let's get out of the major sound and let's go to uh, the minor sound. Let's uh, bring this down just a little bit too, if you will. It's feeling over bright. Okay. A little. There we go. Right there. That's great. Thank you. That, that's my wife, the technician in the background. She's the Wizard of Oz, right? Behind the curtain. Right, so here we go. That's gentle M. So, Drunken Sailor is E minor, and we've got a D chord. I know some of you are thinking E minor and B seventh, right, Little Ralph? Those would work together like a lot of these songs did, one and five. Okay, but we're going to do E minor and D the whole way through. Okay? Now, the melody on this score, if you have the page written out, you know, you have the melody right there, you know. Right? So you have that melody right there that you can play if some of you melody players are um, growing tired of strumming and you want to pick a little bit of melody. That's always nice when uh, some are strumming and others are uh, picking on the melody. Okay? So it's, uh, I'm going to wet my whistle here for one second and uh, then away we'll go. All right? All right. Here we go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Who rain up she rises? Who rain up she rises? Who rain up she rises early in the morning? Hello, Jack Beat Florida. Good to have you with us. All right, now put him in the brig with the captain's daughter. I never, I never had to experience that before. Put him in the brig with the captain's daughter. Put him in the brig with the captain's daughter. Put him in the brig with the captain's daughter. Early in the morning, you sing it. Hooray! Up she rises. Hooray! Up she rises. Hooray! Up she rises early in the morning. Guess what? Can I let you in on a little secret tonight? Sea shanties. The songs that folks sang to help facilitate the raising and lowering of the sails. Hard work took a lot of men. And out there on those ships, singing was one way to get the work done. I will tell you that sea shanties in the ukulele world are a oft-neglected idiom of, or, you know, corner of, uh, of beautiful music to sing for group singing. And there's thousands of them. Look up the book Songs of the Seven Seas. Here we go. Rub his belly with a rusty razor. Rub his belly with a rusty razor. Rub his belly with a rusty razor. Early in the morning, who rain up she rises? Who rain up she rises? Who rain up she rises? Early in the morning. Show him the Bible and he'll find Jesus. Show him the Bible and he'll find Jesus. Show him the Bible, he'll find Jesus early in the morning. Your turn. Who rain up she rises? Who rain up she early in the morning? Put him in the 
scuppers with a hose pipe on him. Put him in the scuppers with a hose pipe on. Put him in the scuppers with a hose pipe on him early in the morning. Do it good now. Who rain up she rises? Who rain up she rises? Who rain up she rises early in the morning? Yeah. Let's do one more verse now. Rub his belly with a rusty razor. Rub his belly with a rusty razor. Rub his belly with a rusty razor. Early in the morning. Who rain up she rises. Who rain up she rises. Who rain up she rises. Early in the morning. I want to give you one other little piece of advice. And I want to use this song as an example, okay? I know I didn't tell you my bug story yet tonight, but I think I'm going to pass on that one, okay? But here's what I would, will tell you. Learn a lot of different kinds of strums, okay? Or just date a lot of different strums, okay? And, and see which ones you like, okay? And the ones you like, you can go out with them again. Okay, and what we're doing now is just a common down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, right? But when you get good at this, this, which I speak of so often, and you know a lot of different strumming patterns, then you could take any song you want to do it in any style you want. Like if we wanted to do Drunken Sailor in a reggae with a reggae rhythm, we just go down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, down up. Sometimes we discover that it sounds really good. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Down up, down up, down up, right? There's a little rest, a little breath in there, and that's how you get three little birds. That's how you get don't worry, be happy. That's how you get... Uh, you know, all the great reggae stuff. Uh, you can get it if you really want, but you must try, try, try. Okay? So, just something fun to keep in mind. Keep things fresh and interesting. All right. I hope everybody's having a good time. Come on, pop me a few little little comments in the feed. It's not that uh, um, I can't go on tonight without a couple of positive comments, but uh, when you move from doing these inside to um, my Florida tour, for example, over this winter where, you know, I was in Citrus Park with 80, 90 people sitting in front of me. It, it, it's a whole different world, right? And so I can see your faces. I know who uh, half of you are, and uh, I'm sending you virtual love and hugs and, and all of you, okay? Because we all kind of want back to, uh, you know, the kind of connection that we humans desire and all uh, thrive on, and that is a close proximity, right? Uh, when it comes to making ukulele music. And so let's go on in our packet. There's a lot of music to do yet. We will not get to all these songs tonight. We, won't, we just simply won't. I gave you a whole bunch of them so that you could stretch out and have some fun with some of these when the class is over. And there's a lot of popular things in there. There's things like Dream Baby by Roy Orbison. Um, there's things like, um, you know, um, come on, let me show you where it's at. Come on, come on, let me show you where it's at. Well, come on, come on, let me show you where it's at. The name of the places are like it like that. Right? And you never thought, oh, you heard it on the radio 10,000 times and you never knew it was a two chord song. Okay. I, I haven't spent a lot of time on my blog, Fountain of Uke. Fountain of Uke is my old blog, and I haven't done much posting, though in the back of my mind, I, I, I keep thinking I need to revamp that and get busy posting things there. But there's a lot of good content there, historically speaking. And one article is titled, um, is a list of two chord songs. And I think I have, I don't know, 160 or 70 different titles there. If you're ever wondering uh, about what are some two good two chord songs, you could reference that list and find a lot of others there as well. Okay, so uh, now we're going to go on and uh, 
And let's do uh, let's do the lead belly song. I, I, I'm a big fan of lead belly. I have a whole class uh, that teaches technique and boogie and all kinds of stuff uh, with regards to lead belly. Let's do a jump down, turn around, pick a bale of cotton. Okay, that's a nice one. Jump down, turn around, pick a bale of cotton. All right. All right. So uh, the music of Lead Belly is a it is a, a, a repository of uh, variety and and soul, right? Work songs and blues. Uh, and kids' songs, and uh, songs of the Deep South, and uh, songs of civil rights, and all kinds of great stuff there. Uh, Pick a Bale of Cotton is, uh, is a great great little tune that he played on the 12-string guitar. And uh, before I launch into this tonight, I want to make sure I thank Mead Public Library for sponsoring these um, Monday and Thursday night classes. Uh, this is my only regular paycheck right now. That's just the reality. Um, and so Mead provides a small uh, base pay for each night that I do these. And the hope is that, um, you know, the tips will provide a little bit uh, extra here. And, uh, and so if you, you know, if you guys uh, feel so inclined, we are also grateful, as I often say. And uh, appreciate that. PayPal um, and Venmo. And so you can just take a little peek at that. All right. There we go. I think that Jenna posted it at the top of the thread as well. All right. So, okay. Pick a bale of cotton. Here's what I like to do. All right. We're going to add another boogie note now. So you make an A chord. And my chart, it shows two different versions of A and two different versions of E7. Okay. So for my A, I'm going to lift one finger on and off of the second fret of the E string. That's an F sharp note. Okay. And that instead of just going, you could go, I want to jump down, turn around, pick a bit of cotton. Jump down, turn around, pick a bit of day. Oh, load it. Pick a bit of cotton. Oh, load it. Pick a bit of day. Okay, so is that clear? Make an A chord and lift our ring finger on and off of the second fret of the E string. That is an F sharp note. Okay? All right. That's another thing. I can't see your big smiles, right? I can't see your faces. A little, sometimes I can if, I, if I'm working on Zoom, but I can't see those big smiles right now. And so I, if I could, you know, that would be wonderful. Maybe you could pop a picture of you smiling into the thread and that would light up my night okay I like smiles because uh, I like to see the cup is half full not half empty here we we got a lot to be grateful for here we go me my buddy gonna pick up in a cotton me my buddy gonna pick up in a day me my buddy gonna pick up in a cotton me my buddy gonna pick Thank you for the smiling emoji. I do appreciate that. It's not the same as a picture, but I, I love it just the same. Me and my wife ought to pick a bale of cotton. Me and my wife ought to pick a bale of day. Me and my wife ought to pick a bale of cotton. Me and my wife ought to pick a bale of day. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bale of cotton. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bale of day. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bale of cotton. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bale of day. Muting, right? Remember that class? You can go to muting at any point. Whenever you want to buy yourself a little time. Whenever you forgot some words. Whenever you, you want to get rhythm and just get funky and not play chords and just strum and move your hand around, right? That's the muting. That's all a funky part of this. Pretty soon I'm going to be having a, a class on chunking, right? And they would make that song sound like that, okay? 
Mean by gang on a pick a band of cotton. Mean by gang on a pick a band of day. Mean by gang on a pick a band of cotton. Mean by gang on a pick a band of day. Oh Lord, hey, pick a band of cotton. Oh Lord, hey, pick a band of day. Pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a band of cotton. Pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a band of day. Pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a band of cotton. Pick a pick a pick a pick a pick a band of day. I won't be picking any cotton this year, but I can't wait to put the garden in. We'll be picking all kinds of herbs and veggies, that's for sure. Let's do jump down, turn around. Jump down, turn around, pick a bit of cotton. Jump down, turn around, pick a bit of day. Jump down, turn around, and pick a bit of cotton. Jump down, turn around, pick a bit of day. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bit of cotton. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bit of day. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bit of cotton. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bit of day. Me, my wife, on a pick a bit of cotton. Me, my wife, on a pick a bit of day. Me, my wife, on a pick a bit of cotton. Me, my wife, on a pick a bit of day. How many of you have practiced your triplet stroke? Pick a bit of cotton. Pick a bit of day. Pick a bit of cotton. Pick a bit of day. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bit of cotton. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bit of day. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bit of cotton. Oh, Lord, hey, pick a bit of Thursday's class is what? Tremolo. Many ways to do tremolo. Pick a bit of cotton by Lead Belly. You know, if Lead Belly had been a uke player, you know, he'd play boogie woogie on anything. You get that boogie woogie in that song, right? Okay. Well, I think um, it's time to wind things down. You got a couple songs to uh, work on on your own. Not as much fun as playing all together, though, is it, right? Um, and so I want to thank you for being here. I'm back on Thursday with a tremolo class. Tomorrow night, please join me at Mark Revinson or Little Rev Facebook for my Tin Pin Alley show. It's the, the, the show is called The Jews of Tin Pin Alley, but the this, this show is really about Irving Berlin and George Gershwin and Al Jolson and Eddie Cantor, Sophie Tucker, uh, Fanny Bryce, all the great song publishers and pluggers on the story of Tin Pan Alley. That's really what it's about. It's an American story. It's about, you know, the sons and daughters of immigrants, of Italians and Jews and Irish and Poles and, you know, Hispanic and all of us that form that great, big, beautiful melting pot. And, uh, and so it's a celebration more than anything that the diversity is our strength here in America. And uh, we shall not, we shall not be moved. Okay, just like a tree that's standing by the water, we shall not be moved. So thank you all once again for being here tonight. My family and I, we appreciate your tips. We're, we are um, humbly living off of them these days until things get back to normal again. Um, there's all, there is one little plug here if you'll remain with me. And uh, if you PayPal me 25 bucks, um, we have the Little Rev hat. That's another way to support us. Now, I call this, my wife calls this navy. I call it black. Um, what do you call this, sweetie? Tan khaki. Tan khaki, okay? I'm colorblind, so, you know, but I know she's beautiful. That's all that I know, okay? So, um, and we have some other things we wanted to share with everybody tonight. Where are those uh, CD? Uh, here, we've got uh, CDs. There is a CD that I don't talk about all that much. I uh, can't keep the past behind me. Hasidic, Israeli, uh, American English, um, Yiddish folk songs, guitar, banjo, harmonica, a uh, bunch of different instruments on that one. I'll be sharing music from that in about two weeks in my Facebook concert. If you like blues, Drop Baby Drop, novelty songs. If you like... Uh, Singer, songwriter, Americana type stuff. Uh, happiest way to be sad. And of course, my latest record, Sing Song Daddy. All right. 
And so there's a lot of ways to support Little Rev online. HalLeonard.com or Amazon.com. My intros and endings and turnarounds book, which was the last class. And, uh, and as always, if you all put your hand out in front of you, give yourself a pat on the back for showing up. That's half the battle in this lifetime, just showing up. And uh, so keep on plugging away. To those of you not feeling well, um, my family and I send out our love to you and uh, prayers of healing and uh, uh, hoping for the best. Stay strong, stay positive in mind. Ukulele is the happiest instrument around. It'll lift your spirits every time. I sleep with my ukulele some nights. That's TMI though, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I'll, I shouldn't tell you these kind of things. You're getting to know me way too well. Anyways, uh, from Robert Frost. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. I love you like a ukulele. Thanks for joining me, everybody, tonight. Be well. Thank you.